One of the biggest country icons, you might guess, the Dolly Parton calls Tennessee home. And you'd be right. While the singer has an estimated net worth of around $600 million, she still lives in the same estate in the Brentwood area of Nashville, which she bought back in 1999 for $400,000. She shares this stunning farm-like property with her husband, Carl Dean, and the home's interiors certainly reflect Dolly's colorful and cheery personality, which she's so well known for. Despite the fact that the home cost under a million dollars, the sprawling property doesn't lack in luxury amenities and updates. Dolly Parton was born in Tennessee in 1946 to a family whom she described as dirt poor. It didn't take long for a young Dolly to start performing as a child though, and she sang on local radio and TV programs in the East Area of Tennessee. After graduating from high school in 1964, Dolly had her big break and she relocated to Nashville, embarking on a songwriting journey. While she was first promoted as a bubblegum pop singer, her career took a turn when she released her debut solo country album titled Hello, I'm Dolly in 1967. Since then, she accumulated a net worth of over $500 million, now owns a sprawling 63-acre property in Brentwood, Tennessee, also known as Willow Lake Plantation. In 2014, her estate received approval from the Brentwood board to construct a barn on the premises. So there are other structures on the property aside from the main house now. Dolly Parton's home is what you might expect of the country star in terms of its personality and colorful decor. She's lived in the same home in Brentwood, Tennessee with her longtime husband, Carl Dean since 1989. Back then, she purchased the farm-like property for $400,000 and it spans 3,324 square feet of space inside. While her home is close enough to Nashville, it's still far enough away from downtown to allow for a ton of land. And with more than 10 structures built around the main house, it's clear to see why Dolly loves her property so much. Dolly and Carl reportedly have a tennis court on their estate as well as a swimming pool, their very own chapel, multiple gazebos, and even even afar. The estate is guarded by a large iron gates and behind it a driveway leads to the large idyllic looking main house, proudly displaying an American flag. Each of the structures on Dolly's estate have a bright red roof and can be seen from the road, giving her property a country farm feel. Aside from the acres of open space to roam, we can point out the quaint chapel where Dolly likes to go when she's overwhelmed or just wants to pray. In 2018, Dolly invited actress Reese Witherspoon and to her home to film the first episode of her inspirational series, Shine On, and she showed off the charming and spiritual space. The country star also gave a glimpse of her modest kitchen where she whipped up some breakfast and dished out words of wisdom. We could see that the space was fitted with white wooden cupboards as well as a brown center island with white marble top. The appliances are stainless steel and include all the luxe basics one could need, including a double fridge and double ovens. Since that time we saw the kitchen, Dolly appears to have upgraded it and now it looks like the most colorful room in the house. The singer added some festive touches over the holiday season, including red wreaths, red and white pattern curtains, and several red accessories. Space is full of modern appliances as well as the white cupboards, which have remained to this day. Dolly's classic estate features a sunny yellow hallway which complements the white window sills. She showed this area of the home during the pandemic when she told fans to keep the faith. The singer also has a piano set up close to some family photos while one living room has dark couches and red pillows. We also caught a glimpse into one of her living areas that had a cream colored leather armchair and small mirrored side table with a bubble lamp. Of course, Dolly has her very own music room at home with black piano, patterned green carpet and floral blinds. While it's not clear if it's the same room, she also has a huge collection of awards in one room, complete with a painting honoring her achievement of selling 100 million records worldwide. To match the vintage theme of her Tennessee home, it boasts patterned wallpaper and some rustic wooden furniture. While Dolly has lived in that Brentwood home for what seems like forever, it's certainly not the only property she owns. In fact, a couple of years ago, she and her husband Carl's former abode came up for sale at over $1 million.
The couple lived in this spacious abode from 1980 to 1986, and it was located in the Glencliff neighborhood of Nashville, Tennessee. And it was home right before they settled at their current estate. Dolly's former house was a one-of-a-kind, two-level craftsman-style abode, situated just southeast of downtown Nashville on a gated 2.4-acre property. Dolly invested 16 years of her life into this building, and while it's had new owners since, it's not hard to see the effect she had on the place. There are touches of Dolly throughout the home, from the living room to the bedrooms and more. Interiors span 4,795 square feet with a 1,500 square foot guest house elsewhere on the property. This was actually added after Dolly and Carl moved out. The Glencliff Estate was built back in 1941 and updated since, featuring four beds and three baths throughout. The stucco exterior hints at the Art Deco vibe of the early 1940s, as do some of the spacious interiors, which were perfect for entertaining guests. Common spaces included an eat-in kitchen and living rooms like this one that looks perfect for singing some live music. While the living room had a modern style, the kitchen looks like what you'd expect from a former part and property. Cream cupboards, checkerboard tiles, and ceiling fans all give that retro vibe we know Dolly loves so much. Furthermore, the master bedroom at this property was spacious and boasted plush armchairs surrounding the bed and a ton of room compared to some of Dolly's other old properties. You attached bath offered a separate bath and shower stall. Outside you'd find a shed which is original to the property. In fact, Dolly added on to it during her time living here. She created a playroom for her nieces and nephews, not to mention it still has the wallpaper she picked out in the 80s. While Dolly's former house didn't have a pool or a recording studio, it did offer some wooded areas and a covered patio for all your outdoor party needs. Now, before we wrap up this house tour, let's take a peek at where Dolly Parton grew up in Sevierville, Tennessee, near the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The star has come from extremely humble beginnings and became a multi-talented performer and global icon. Despite that, Dolly's never forgotten her roots, and she's done a lot over the years to help us understand the place from which she came. Through movies, music, songs, and books, Dolly has often used her art to open windows into the world that helped create her. Dolly's spoken about the butterflies and mountain flowers, as well as her parents' struggles and her own triumph. Her famous childhood home is a one-room cabin in Locust Ridge. The original cabin is still there, and the cabin at her Dollywood theme park is a replica. It was designed by Dolly's brother, Bobby, and decorated with the approval of her mother, Abby Lee. The replica is for visitors to see what life was like in a tiny mountain community back in the 40s and 50s. And one striking thing about it is how so many people could inhabit that small cabin at once. Dolly Parton's home had a washing basin near the bedroom and on a table, tins and jars sat in the foreground of the floral wallpaper on the kitchen wall, which we can see in the replica. The sign outside reads, this cabin is a replica of the Parton home place where Robert Lee and Abby Lee Parton raised Dolly and her 10 brothers and sisters. Most of the items on display are original family treasures. The original cabin still stands at its location in Locust Ridge. Even just from that, we can get a taste of how far Dolly Parton has come from her beginnings, but at the same time, how much of her heart had stayed true to her roots. But after looking at the homes of Dolly Parton, that's it for today's house tour. Before we go, answer this question for me. If you were to build a replica of your childhood home, what would be the most important detail you would need to include? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!